Hi everyone, this is Emmy. I've had some requests for more knitting projects, so I'm going to show you how to make this very easy, beginner easy, shrug. And I passed a ribbon here through around the midriff just to close it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But let's get started. I'm going to show you how easy this shrug is to make. Today I'm working with Red Heart Super Saver Yarn in this beautiful color. It's called Macaw and 15 millimeter knitting needles, about 200 yards. And I'm going to start with my thumb casts on. So all I do is wind the yarn around my thumb and then I just twist it one time just to give it a little twist here. And I'm going to place that on my needle. So there's the yarn. So I just put my thumb around the yarn, place it on bring the yarn through just like if I was knitting a stitch and then drop that stitch onto my needle. So I'm going to do that 38 times. I'm going to cast on 38 stitches. And when people don't know how much of a long tail to leave, if you're going to cast on 38 stitches before you start casting on, if you just take your needle and you wind it around like that 38 times, then that will give you the amount that you need for your tail. So I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to cast on my 38 stitches. Okay, I have all my 38 stitches cast on. And this is a very easy shrug to make. It's simply knit every row. So now I'm ready to start knitting. And you can knit in the traditional way by just passing your yarn over the needle and bringing it over and off. And I'm just going to show you how you can do it in the European style or continental style. And that would be to hold just your needle in this hand, hold the yarn around your finger the way you would if you were going to crochet. And you're, then you'll insert the needle through the stitch and then just slide the stitch off. And this method is much faster. Knit every row of this shrug until it's long enough, which is approximately 48 to 50 inches. And I already have this shrug knitted, and you can see that it has this lovely, open, stretchy, just as soft as marshmallow stitch pattern. So you'll just continue to knit row after row after row until this measures approximately 48 to 50 inches. And then you're going to cast off. So to cast off, knit the first stitch, knit the next stitch, now pull that first stitch over that stitch you just worked and off the needle. I'll knit the next stitch, pull the previous stitch over and off the needle. And you're going to continue to do that all the way across the row, casting off each stitch after it has been worked. Like that. And that's what that will look like. And here's my finished rectangle and I moved on to the floor so I can show you. And you're going to fold it over like this. And so I'm going to sew in this direction and I'm going to make sure that I leave a large, large enough opening so that it can slide onto my arm. I have my yarn end here, so I'm going to thread that into a needle, and I'm just going to go ahead and sew up those two sides. So I placed a mark here, and this is large enough to put my arm through. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew up this end like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other side as well. And I'm going to show you how it looks.
And there you go. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to knit this beginner summer lacy shrug. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.